Turkey Master here. Uh, I've got a new rifle here. This is a 25 Savage 22 Hornet. This is what they call a walking bomber. Barometer. Uh, got the uh, medium weight barrel, got a nice heavy barrel, laminate stock, uh, magazine bed. What I really like about this gun, it's got the three lug bolt. I've been wanting a, a three lug bolt gun. Get it back in. And uh, a lot of the gun makers now went to the three lug bolt. Uh, Ruger American, Brown and uh, A bolt, well X bolt, uh, Cooper, and. What I've heard about them is that they're more accurate than a two lug gun. So this is my chance to find out. Uh, one thing I did to this gun, I rechambered it from 22 Hornet to 22K Hornet. And I did that to get a little more power K Hornet is uh, a little bigger case. The case capacity is a little larger than the standard Hornet. And uh, I get 3,000 foot a second out of a 40 grain bullet on the K Hornet. A uh, regular Hornet, you're probably looking at 24, 2,500. And I can't wait to shoot it. I have a problem with it though. And I figured I'd have this problem when I converted it. The magazine. Uh, the magazine was designed to feed 22 Hornet, regular 22 Hornet shell. And it does that slick as a button. Uh, feeds them good, jacks them good. The problem is the K Hornet, uh, seeing how it doesn't have a tapered case is, and it's got a more of a straight line case, when you stack the bullets in the magazine, uh, the spring pressure's in the front and it's pushing up on the front of the bullet. Well, after you stack two or three, the back of the bullet gets below the magazine lips. And uh, what happens, the bolt just slides right over the magazine, right over the bullet, and uh, doesn't feed very well. Didn't chamber that round. I can take the top one out, and just a single round, chamber uh, slick as a butt and it will eject. So uh, what I'm going to do, they make this rifle in a variety of calibers and uh, one of the calibers is a 17 Hornet. They don't make it in a K Hornet, but they make it in a 17 Hornet. And fortunately, the 17 Hornet is a, the case is a whole lot like the K Hornet. It's got a straight case. It's got a pretty good, about a 50 degree neck or shoulder. And I'm on, I've got me a 17 K uh, a 17 Hornet magazine coming and I'm hoping it'll feed these K Hornets since they're almost to death. If that doesn't work, 
<laughs> guess what? I'm going to have to take one of these magazines apart, take the follower out, and I'll machine me a new follower out of a piece of aluminum stock and try to uh, profile it where it'll feed the K-Hornet. Uh, the main trouble with these rim cases uh, when they stack up the rim on top of the other cartridge it kind of makes them uh, skew. So uh, it's kind of hard to feed the rim case from a, a magazine, stack magazine. Uh, but I believe it can be done. I can, I believe I can get it to feed where it'll hold at least three and feed three, maybe four. But uh, I've been loading them up with this, uh, my Hornady Projector Press and the seat and die I've been using, I've got a couple of different ones, but this is a uh, Redding seat and die. And I really like it. It's got real close tolerances and that bullet fits real tight and I believe it keeps the alignment. And uh, so when I load my bullets, I won't have much run out. And this other die, this is a uh, Lee factory crimp die for a 22 horn. And it will also work with a K horn. Uh, so I can crimp them. And the bullet I've been using, I've been using these Hornady old timey varmint bullets they call them to hollow point and they make them uh, originally for the 218B rifles it says on the box there uh, 22 hollow point B slash B and uh, that's the reason they got a flat tip because a lot of the B rifles are lever action we got a tubular magazine uh, I've got three powders. I've got 4227. I've got a little gun. And I got some H110. And I'm going to try the different patterns. I've just been loading up 10 rounds of one pattern so uh, I can see which one shoots best. And I started out loading these. Uh, Hornady V-Max bullets with a polymer tip and they're so long even when I see them about as deep as I can see them that they don't want to fit in the magazine because the tip this magazine is uh, takes a pretty short bullet uh, the hollow points are fine with that short tip but these they're hitting and they won't uh, go down in the magazine. So, I probably have to shoot them in the single shot. And I'll just load, load up some either salt points. I got some spears, sea arrows, uh, with a short tip. And I've also got Two sizing dies. These are the red and deluxe red and dies. Uh, one's full length, one's the neck size. And I've been neck sizing. So uh, I'm going to see if I can gain some accuracy from the neck size. That way they'll uh, be fire formed to the chamber. And I'll have a good tight fit. Uh, I really like this rifle. Uh, 
This is the first one of these I've had, and I like to laminate stock. Uh, they won't warp or real rigid, and I'm just a wood stock guy. I, I can't get used to these polymer stocks and carbon graphs. <laughs> I know they're superior for accuracy, but uh, I'm just like old school, and I like the wood. Also, uh, the safety on this gun, uh, you can put it on safe and you can still cycle a bolt. So you can uh, unload your magazine and get a shell out of the chamber with it still on safe. And it comes with a Savage Actor trigger, which is well known. And uh, it's got a a uh, crisp break off. It's got a pretty nice pull. It may be just a little heavy, but it's a good trigger. I believe this rifle's going to shoot. I've got a Nikon Pro Staff 3 by 9 on it just to try it out. And uh, I get a good load and get it shooting. I may give it an upgrade on the scope. But got a good rubber butt plate on it. It's got a good crown and the barrel's got a mirror polish. Uh, really impressed with the with the polish of the barrel. And the better finish you got on the inside of that barrel, the more accurate it's gonna be. So I feel like uh, I've been shooting hornets a long time, and like uh, all my standard Rugers or standard, I've got a Ruger number one. Uh, I like all my standard model hornet, and I believe I'm gonna like this K hornet. This is a brand new rifle. Uh, I've got plenty of cases. I've got. I'm gonna load up. Me once I get a load, I load up like a hundred, and I'll shoot some targets. See what kind of accuracy I get out of. Uh, these are real rifles. If you run across one. And uh, you don't have to convert it to K-Hornet like I did. But you get you one in regular Hornet or 17 Hornet. Now that 17 Hornet's a Cracker Jack shoe. Uh, it's high velocity, it's really accurate, and it's flat. I zeroed mine at 50 yards, it was dead on the hunter. Uh, that's about as flat a shoot as you gonna get. It'll run you can get it with a 15 grain bullet or a 20 grain factory load. I think the 20 grain runs about 3,800 feet a second. And moving on. See what it says here on the box. These are some I've reloaded, but uh, 15 and a half grains. 38.70 feet per second. That's moving on. That little tiny case. Uh, I've shot squirrels with these. I had some squirrels feeding out uh, down to the farm in Georgia under some pecan tree. I could shoot a squirrel and the rest of them wouldn't even run. It just all over that bullet was fast. Uh, that's, a, that's a real good fun to shoot rifle. Now it will lead the barrel with that kind of velocity. So you've got to clean the barrel. And same thing on these uh, Hornets. With little gun. Little gun to shotgun powder. And uh, it carbon fouls the barrels pretty quick. I clean mine about every five or ten shots. 
when I'm shooting little gun. The 4227 is a whole lot cleaner, but you lose a little velocity. Uh, and I've not tried the CFE blackout. I've been wanting to, I just had not got around to it. And uh, I like the idea of that uh, copper fouling eraser is what it means. So something in the powder keeps copper from fouling your barrel. It more or less cleans it. So uh, yeah, I'm all for that. Anything that lets me shoot more with less cleaning, I'm in favor of. So. It's an old turkey master. It's a windy day in the Smoky Mountains. And just piddling around waiting on turkey season, I'll be in the woods turkey hunting. And about, I think it opens here in about two weeks. Uh, my boys went to Florida and hunted Osceola turkey. They had a good hunt down there. Uh, they found out they're a whole lot harder to call in and kill than the eastern turkey. The old turkey master, over and out.